Hey, what's up, guys? How you guys doing? This video, I want to demonstrate to you behind the scenes uh, publishing a new book uh, for today. Okay, so let's get started. So the book is called How Expert Guide to Ashland, Kentucky. 101 Tips to Learn About, Discover, Places to Visit, Find Things to Do, and Experience. Ashland, Kentucky to the fullest. How Expert with Whitney Hodges. So go check out that book. If you live there currently, okay, and curious to explore that city even more, because a lot of time we live in the same city and there's a lot of things uh, we miss out on. Okay, so you can learn a lot here. Or you're curious about visiting the city as a tourist and whatnot, okay? Now, having said that, we want to start with Amazon. That's the platform we want to publish to as an ebook, paperback, and hardback. Uh, then we will go to this is another platform in no particular order Apple. Which is for Apple eBooks, called Apple Bookstore. Uh, Google, this is called the Google Play Bookstore for eBooks. Find Away Voices, which is for the audiobooks, uh, audiobooks, um, audiobook version of the book. Okay, which I'll set it up. Okay, I don't have the audiobook files yet, but I just want to set it up so when I have the files later on, it's an easier, faster process. Um, another audiobook platform is ACX.com, which is owned by. Amazon, but I'm not going to do it today because I don't have the audiobook file yet. Another platform is Ingram Spark for paperback and hardback. Okay, so this is paperback, hardback. Okay, and then Barnes and Noble, which is a platform for ebooks. Okay, and then the next platform will be Kobo, uh, which is a platform for ebooks as well. And this is a platform to also publish it to Walmart.com, I believe. Okay, believe it or not. Okay, so that's a quick uh, preview. Uh, summary in a nutshell, the preview. So let's get started. Okay, so Kindle. Let's start with the Kindle. We're just going to open multiple tabs and do it as quickly as possible. Let's see how fast we can do it, okay? And I'm not going to explain every single process because I've done these type of videos before. But if you want me to, um, the, in a nutshell, uh, if it says optional, I skip it, you know? If things like optional, I skip it. But if it's a, it's a required, I fill it in, okay? The main thing is, by default, language is English. Then book title will be title. Then you want to put the subtitle, okay? Make sure you fill out all the character spaces good. Okay, in the series, I skip editions. I skip author. I put in the author my brand name. And then I put in the author's name as well. Uh, contributor as another author, okay? That's, that's the way we do it with our brand. Uh, just modeling other big brands as well. Description, I fill in the description. I put in the uh, description and in about the expert, about the author section. I used to call it the uh, about the expert section back in the days. Now we're going to call it about the author. Okay, so I thought about it, you know, the concept, because I'm considering writing a book for my brand as well. And I thought about if I, I I'm trying to either decide, I'm 50-50 to write for my publishing brand or topic about self-publishing or should i write a separate topic you know i'm still up in there a little bit i think i might make it separate to be honest but i thought if i were to write for my publishing brand what would i would i like to be called at the end about the author or about the expert and i thought it and i had to be honest i was like you know what i'd rather be prefer called author about the author so you know what that's why i went with it okay so we're gonna we just changed it recently last week okay with our 350th book okay so you keep live and you learn you don't just stop whenever you if you realize you know honestly if there's a better strategy that you haven't implemented you you know you got to evolve right simplify uh improve um you know you're not perfect even then but it's a constant you know as long as you're alive keep on improving okay if you can okay and look from an other person other person's perspective in order to um find what they will want you know marketing one-on-one is what you know um what's in it for me you know that's what people ask when you're pitching them selling they don't care what's in it for me what am i gonna learn well how does that benefit me right answer that question so i want to benefit them they want to be branded as an author they are an author right they wrote the book okay okay so we do the editing, we come up with the concept, with the direction of the topic and the structure, the outline, we teach them and guide them throughout the process with, uh, you know, and so forth with a system and training, et cetera, and team. But, uh, 
you know, it's a team game, but at the same time, they are writers and authors, right? So we put that there. Let's double check everything real quick. Okay, great. Um, I do allow them to have also put in the, their own website or whatnot, but we usually take out the dot com element of it because uh, platforms, just generally speaking, they don't like it. So you know what? For this, WordPress. Let's just skip WordPress, okay? For, for um, you know, we usually don't allow website. We put it in the book, but we're going to have to skip this portion for um, we just don't like having .com on it. We, web. It's in the book. Okay, I'll give this correct that one. Since this particular situation is a case by case, to be honest with you, really wants to seem to be um, but again, we have a rule. We don't really like having multiple domain names. Even our website, we don't have our own website. We skip that because uh, sometimes platforms don't like it. So, you know, for that reason, I'm going to remove this. I'm going to remove the website. Okay. It's not, it's on the book. It's inside the book back. It's also at the back of the book, paperback and hardback. And it's at, at the end of the book. So, but in the description section to our writers, we're going to skip the dot com. Okay. Just to protect our own account as well. Because sometimes platforms, they just don't like it. And uh, let me just uh, copy this because I know we're going to use this again later. We have to. Let me do this. Select all. And uh, here's what we're going to do. Paste it all. Okay. Great. Let me go back. Ebook. Okay, great. So we're gonna go back, double check everything else is good. So let's go faster. Save and continue. Next is paperback. And double check title, subtitle is good. Author is good. Now the description we we just made some changes on the dot com. So we got what we got. We're good. What we gotta do is select all and paste over it. Okay, this is what happened. What's going on here? Okay, this is this is interesting. Okay, what I gotta do is let me just select all and delete it first. Paste. Okay, great. Okay, great, 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 great. great. All right, awesome. Save and continue. That's for the paperback. Uh, right. Let me go to the hardback book title. Subtitle is good. Author names are good. Description, select all and delete. Then let me paste it. I just paste it. Not plain text. Just, just double check everything. Oh, let me see this real second. Quick. All right. Everything good. Okay, cool. Save and continue. So let's stick to Amazon for right now. Let me alternate from, from ebook, Kindle version, paperback, and hardback version, okay? Uh, let's do the uh, Kindle version, ebook first. Digital rights, yes. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, okay. Save and continue. ISBN, I have it. Imprint. Publication data, skip it. Black and white interior, cream paper, six by nine. No bleed glossy. This is the paperback version. Put the interior of the book and we save and continue it. Uh, hardcover. ISBN and print. Black and white with cream paper, six by nine. No bleed glossy. Interior manuscript, book cover. Okay. The ebook now is. Pricing now, um, 
I skipped the KDP Select. This is usually if you want to just sell your book exclusively on Amazon, then you can click on KDP Select. A lot of fiction people do that because that allows your book to be in Kindle Read. It's a membership site. People could read the book for free as a member, a monthly member, and a program does well for a lot of fiction authors. So if that's your choice, do Kindle KDP Select. For nonfiction, most of the people, they do go wide, okay? But also some people recommend if you really want to be, uh, you know, maximize your chance of getting a bestseller, you know, even like I did with one of my books, How to Make Money with Ebooks, which was my uh, first real bestseller. It was a number one bestseller in business category, actually, uh, for the free section, not the paid, but regardless, it was... It was still on the t list. And I took a picture, a, a screenshot of it at the time too, you know. And eventually it dropped down to top 10 in business, but it was still number one. Okay, and I just want to say, um, but anyways, regardless, to do that, I did KDP Select, okay. And then I unchecked it after three months and then went wide. So if you want to really do it like the bestseller way, that's what I would recommend, okay. Now, I don't do that for any of my books anymore because... I have, I became a publisher as I transition from author to publisher. I just don't have time, you know, to do that route. I don't even have time to do that for one book. I mean, it will take a full time effort just to do that. I just feel like it because you got to unpublish it and it's just a lot of work. But if you have a, if you're just a, if you're a writer yourself, author, I would say, why not? But again, if you're pumping out books, even an author who pumps out a lot of books, then I would just go wide just to simplify the business because the real business is focusing on new writers, hire and publish. That's it. I mean, you, you, you can maximize it a little bit more by squeezing out the bestseller, and that's great for branding purposes. At least try it for one of your books so it hits number one bestseller and screenshot it. And it's good for your branding, okay? But uh, for simplicity, for building a business, I think it's just simple to just go wide okay so let's go all right so territories all uh royalty 70 percent. it has to be between 299 and 99 which i did okay publish saving okay fantastic so the book has been published congratulations your kindle ebook has been submitted so it's going to be published on amazon in about generally speaking about Less than 24 hours, to be honest with you. About, it could be two hours, three hours, three to five, a couple hours for ebooks. Paperback, hardback, it could take about a day. Um, how expert guide to Ashland, Kentucky? All territories. Okay. And primary marketplace is where I live in the US, so Amazon.com. Um, that's why I do it. Um, I don't know if you all live elsewhere, if you do other regions, because there's other regions, maybe. Pricing, royalty, and distribution. Um, I do it like that. Expanded distribution, I uncheck it, okay? Because I, I do Ingram Spark separately for expanded distribution. It's not allowed to do, you can't do both. You can't do Ingram Spark and do expanded distribution. So make sure if you're going to do Ingram Spark, um, uncheck expanded distribution, okay? So there you go. Paperback submitted. Your paperback has been submitted, okay? Moving on to the hardback. Same thing here. Just click on publish your paper hardback. And saving, processing. Has been submitted. Hardcover has been submitted. Okay, so now I'm just going to go to Google right now instead of Apple because it's a little bit faster. Book info, I just want to quickly summarize, okay? Uh, but uh, we do have to change the... Uh, change the... Um, yeah, description. Oh, my goodness. Okay, hold on a second. Let me do this again. Select all. Copy. Go back, please. Google, okay, description, select all, paste, okay, good, okay, this, you know what, this is like, looks like an extra space, I don't think moving forward, uh, if you're watching this, our team, I think we might have to get rid of the extra space in the future, even for Amazon, because I double checked Amazon, it looks like there's extra space, I don't know why they don't give us extra space when we write in description. I'll bring it up next time. 
Well, we just need space there about the author. That's it. Okay, let me select all and paste it again because this is the correct version with correct spacing. We don't need the extra space moving forward to our team members in the future. Future, okay? So there you go. That's description. Everything's good. Save and continue. I'm just going to go through it really uh, faster now. Save and continue. Genres. Okay. Contributors. Okay, this is the part we have to fix. So I'll just put the description one more time. Seven continue. Seven continue. Uh, fixed. Okay. Continue. Save and continue. Publish. Last button for Google. So it will be a, a published on Google Bookstore. Okay. Also known as Google Play Bookstore. Uh, find a way voices is the audiobook platform. I don't have the audiobook files yet, but if I were to set it up, I will click on new projects and then I will click on, I want to sell an easy existing audiobook, even though I don't have it, you want to set it up and then you will put in, um, the title. Okay. Something like that. Okay. And then you put the subtitle, all that stuff here. You put in the description right now. The description, I have it, but uh, it has to be less than certain characters. Okay, it can't be, it can't be too long. I'll show you in a second. Hold on a second. Yeah, this is too long, I think. But let me save it. Let me save it for right now. Okay. Oh, now it could be longer. It looks like. Yeah, I think they maybe uh, modified that. Okay, so let me take a look at the Ingram Spark. This is the hardback and paperback version. I'm just setting this up too. Okay, now the subtitle section is right here. Hold on a second. One second. Let me go back. Okay. Just want to share it. Make sure. Author names, categories, audience, and uh, description. Let's just update this. Paste it. Perfect. Okay. And then the keywords continue. Okay. Do the same thing for this one. Because one of them is paper, hardback and our other one is paperback. And Ingram Spark is the place where you do expanded distribution. It actually goes out to other third-party uh, booksellers. So if you're curious about selling books as a third party, even for my books or whatnot, Check out Ingram Sparks. Maybe they have information and can lead you how to, you know, how other booksellers do it. Uh, continue. Okay, so let me take a look at one of them. Okay, six by nine, black and white, cream, hardback. Okay, this first version is a hardback. Okay, so we got that page count. Okay, we have the pricing down, everything. We're going to just check mark everything to move forward real quick. Date, we got that down, 19th. Current date, a six by nine, black and white, cream, paperback, perfect, bound, gloss, uh, page count. We got all that down this time for the paperback. Okay, and then we're going to continue. Ingram Spark. Um, I have the interiors. I don't have the design and um, all the files ready right now, so we're going to skip this, but... We did set it up, so I'm going to save and exit, okay? I don't have all the files because I'm still getting ready for the print cover. I do have the print interior, but I want to wait until both are ready, and then I'll go from there. So right now, I'm just going to set it up, okay? So now, moving on to the next platform is Barnes & Noble, okay? Which is a platform to submit ebooks. Although, if you go to Ingram Spark separately, um, believe it or not, your book will be shown on Barnes and Noble, paperback and hardback. That's a cool part. Uh, so Barnes and Noble, we have the book set up right here. Okay, so I'm just gonna go right here and just go to view book details for 
uh, speed purposes. Okay, I don't want to go at step by step. I just go straight to it. Uh, interior, we have the uh, interior ready as an EPUB. But the cool news is that if you upload a Word document, 8.5 by 11, size is fine for Microsoft Word, which most people use by default. And you upload it, it instantly becomes an EPUB. Pretty cool, isn't it? Okay, although you can format it and make it even better if you want. Cover, you upload the cover, JPG version or PNG version. Book details is all here. Uh, yeah, I should edit the book details because we just uh, updated it. So, all right. That's the thing about publishing sometimes. When you fix one thing, you got to fix everything. Okay, so paste. Okay, is that good? One has to be shorter. Let me see if both work. Okay, they're both good to go. All right, so we're going to do save and continue. Okay, sometimes. Okay. Now, the about the author, I got to fix this because of the dot com thing. I'm sure dot com is allowed, but I just don't want to risk it. I heard it. One of the reasons I say that is because I actually heard a very well known internet marketer from a conference saying he thought an Amazon wouldn't allow dot any links in. In some time down the line in the future, it may happen. I don't know. It was many years ago, but he has a point about that because it always comes down to like, if you promote too much, it's, it's, people don't like it, Okay, including the platform. So that's all. Save and continue. But if it's in the print, yeah, I have it inside the ebook too, but just not in the their platform. That's all. You know, out of respect for the platform. Save and continue and put on sale. Uh <clears throat> got that right? Okay. Um great. Put on sale. All right. So everything's good. Let me just update this. Now, this is fantastic. Wow. I'm trying to select all and just paste it. But you know what? If it's not doing that, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to I'm just going to manually fix this. Okay, save and continue. Next. Next. Save and continue. And publish the ebook. Okay, so that's Kobo, which is also partnering, which partners with Walmart.com. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I just showed you. Publishing on all multiple platforms, uh, a book to multiple platforms, starting with uh, Amazon, which is the main platform, to be honest with you. Um, okay, as an ebook, paperback, and hardback, and going wide to other platforms like uh, Google, uh, Ingram Spark, we briefly talked about that, Barnes and Noble. Kobo, Find A Way Voices. I briefly did a quick uh, setup. I didn't finish it, but um, we could do that another time. Okay. Because I don't have all the files yet. But, and then um, let me do another quick look at this real quick. Okay. Because the reason is because, where's my search? Ashland. Let me take a look. I want to take a look at the description. 
Um, let me go to Apple. Let's do Apple, okay? Because we didn't really finish Apple. Before we do that, let me finish Find Away Voices set up even more. As much as we can, okay? Okay, well, that's nice. We'll take care of that later. Hold on a second. Abridgement. Unabridged. Language. English. Fiction. We're just doing the easy parts right now. Yeah. Use my own RSV. No, no. 2022. Price 1999, $4.99. Save changes just for right now. I gotta pick a date. Just put the current date, whatever the day is. Save changes for right now. I don't have the ISBN yet. Um, I don't have the categories, but uh, let me just try to look something. Travel. This is a category, so travel. It's like a travel guide. All right. Let's do travel general right now. Let's, you can get pick a second category. Just put in your keyword and look for another category. When in doubt, choose reference. Save changes. Whichever save changes button you click, it saves everything, okay? Ashland. Is it Ashland? That's about it. Save changes. Author names, I'm going to skip. I'll, I'll write that all later. Okay, that's about it. Let's move to Apple. Because, um, okay, one more thing about. Um, Distribution, I'm just going to do Voices Plus. Okay, that's about it. Apple, let's get to Apple. Submit, continue, choose the file. Do we have a book file? I believe we do. Uh, it's going to be EPUB file. Okay, the book file is going to be the EPUB file of the book. book. EPUB, Kentucky, uh, EPUB, where is it, man? Got the EPUB, got it. Sample version is chapter one in the EPUB file cover. Is um, excuse me. Where is it? Is it this one? I think that's the one.
Fantastic. Taking forever. I'm going to end the video now because it's taking too long.